So. This is messed up. Uh, <clears throat> now this is the Vassy hit and run. And in the blog of Mr. 112 Dirtbag, there were five or six cops around Vassy after he was bounced from the bar. Now I do not get this damn... This is very, very, very... <laughs> I don't know how to even say it. <laughs> Just <clears throat> pretty much messed up in words. Screwy. <clears throat> Screwy Louie. <laughs> what the hell is this be written? Now, supposedly... This Vassy was coming from a bar. But, uh... Oh, man, I don't know. <clears throat> For one, I can't find no bar in the vicinity of Triangle Street and Kellogg Street. I already covered that. But I did map out the area, and I did find Bert's. Bart's. But it is not a bar. So, I mean, this makes... No sense about what I'm going to read. It is literally, oh my God, <clears throat> just insane. Insane like the story. Whether this 112 dirtbag knows what really happened or he's just making up stuff to throw off, I don't know. All in all, this damn guy in his writing of this. <clears throat> and I don't know why. Like, I didn't find the college yet because I had to find this bar. And the bar is not even a bar. I'll get to that in a moment. But, <laughs> what the? Why? I know one thing. I want to, I would like to know why. This guy, Vassy, was walking down Kellogg Street when there's nothing down there. Nothing. Some houses, and then it goes into a big stretch of woods. And then, right, the ball field. House on the left at the end of the street. House on the right. Houses. Say so little apartment type building things. <clears throat> but the question is, why was he going this way? And, I don't know, as I've said before, 112 Dirtbag says, that's a lot of cops for one drunk student on a Thursday night. They probably did not leave Vassy all at once. So why is he worried about how many cops? Because when there's a crime scene common sense and anybody knows that there's gonna be a friggin shitload of swarming cops they're gonna be the private investigator cop there's gonna be the detectives the regular field cops that you know you, you'll be lucky if you friggin um get up to at least 15 cops because there's gonna be cops everywhere you know witnesses Taking up evidence, looking for whatever the scene of the crime will someone leave behind, and they, you know, stuff cannot be damaged, stuff cannot be touched, and that's why it inquires so many cops. And this guy's talking about why are there so many cops there for one drunk student? Oh, duh! Now this is where the one twelve dirtbag stupidity kicks in. Vassy almost certainly walked and or ran up Kellogg Street, almost next to Bart's. Now, this is what I don't get. If he supposedly I don't know, 
the way I think he got hit down by Kellogg Street. That's why this thing don't make no sense. Unless he was running from the parkway. But what would he be doing down there with nothing down there? Unless one of the campus buildings where they live is down there. But I looked through some of the map around there. And it don't look like there's no campus. And these buildings of Amherst, UMass, is all over the place. I don't know. It, don't bring you, it brings you to a main building. But I don't know how many there are in the vicinity of this area. But I mean, it sounded like to me he got hit down by Kellogg Street and Triangle Street. Yeah, because it said location of the hit and run, Triangle Street. So, ran up almost next to Bart's, which I'll get to that in a minute, in order to get to the location of the hit and run on Triangle Street. Now, this is where it makes no damn sense. Because when I show you where Bart's is, in Triangle Street, they are definitely nowhere near each other. Since Kellogg Street leads away from UMass campus more than towards it, seems like he vastly was trying to elude someone. Probably someone connected with the reason he was ejected from the bar. Or maybe he was eluding pursuit by a cop or both. If, say, a cop's girlfriend or wife was in the bar and she felt annoyed by Vassy. So, he's... <laughs> See this? This is where I kicked in with the word jealousy. And I said this before this. <clears throat> and why is he worried about him hitting on some woman? Or is it see the nature of Vassy and this person is yet a big key to this whole mystery. Because if this guy say so was one of them type of guys that like to, you know, hit on women or you know how they get they wanna Oh, hey, baby, you know, give them them stupid lines, you know, just basically just getting in their face and, you know, flirting, flaunting themselves like a woman would do to a man if she liked them very much. If this guy was something like that, that's why I say, did he piss someone off his right? And obviously he's talking about someone he pissed off and he's going to blame a cop. And a cop's wife or girlfriend. Or it could be anybody random in the bar. You know, there's guys in there to go. Women and women go around. You know, I've lived the bar scene for a long time. <clears throat> I'll tell you something. I didn't go in there to pick up women. I went in there to drink, right? But I've seen a lot of people in relationships going to bar. And I've seen a lot of relationships end up into a friggin' massive brawl or an argument, stormed out the door type thing. And, I mean, that's why I'm an old-fashioned person. I stick with one woman. And if that don't work, you know, whatever. I don't go bouncing from, you know, woman to woman. I'm not a player. I'm not a friggin' idiot that wants to just get down all kinds of women's pants. I'm not the one that has to brag about like Wilt Chamberlain, I've slept with 3,000, 4,000 women. You know, that, that's, you know what, it's quality in a woman, not quantity. And there's a lot of people, <clears throat> even friends that I've known, that, sad to say, wanted to take advantage of women and how many they can get in bed. Now, whether or not this guy was that way, Mr. Vassy, <clears throat> that explains why, that's right, if the 112 dirtbag had a crush on Miss uh, Murray, that would explain why he was eluding. That's right, is he giving a hint and just putting a cop's wife and a cop in 
Why would he just blame a cop? If anybody, they would blame anybody in a bar. Any man with a woman in the bar. Not just a cop and his wife or girlfriend was in the bar and she felt annoyed by Vassy. Why is it just going to be a cop? <clears throat> that explains one thing. <clears throat> Here we go, damn it. <clears throat> Sorry. Excuse me. <clears throat> damn. That, what is a cop doing in the bar anyways? But then again, are we talking about a bar? Well, let's take a look at the map. Because I'll tell you something. I'm going to take out my trusty little pen. Yes. Bear with me. Now, where are we? Right here <clears throat> is Bart's. Now, <clears throat> I don't see, as you can see in the map, Oh, come on. <clears throat> Excuse me. All in this area to your right. All right here. I do not see no campus buildings. Houses. Right here is where the 112 dirt bag claims the hit and run happened. Now he said where the hit and run was, Kellogg Street is right here, all the way over. <clears throat> this is the other street. So I mean, yeah, all in that intersection I showed in my last video. That's the ball field here. The house here, I said it's on it, a little apartment complex here. <clears throat> and, uh, and he ran towards Bart's. And I don't understand what the hell, how he got, what he was doing in the middle of all this road. Because he was running towards Bart's. Which is right there, like I said, here. Why would he go back down the street this way to get hit? Don't make no friggin' sense. That's a long stretch of road. That road, to me, looks like it would be a quarter, quarter of a mile. <clears throat> so this guy must have been either fast. And I don't see, and I went down this road and didn't see no bar. Now what Bart's is and I went up and down the street say so this way I didn't see no bars in there anything there's some storefronts but no bars unless I missed something but I could have sworn I mean I could basically say there's no bars but this building here <clears throat> so I'm gonna put my pen away so this is all that like I said all this of what he was saying, that's why it don't make no goddamn sense. Now, <clears throat> if there was any way he came out of the building I circled, which I don't know why <clears throat> anybody would be in this building supposed to be drinking turn, you know, <clears throat> going north, turn down that street, Kellogg, I mean, Kellogg starts down here more to the right, so I mean, up in this area is not Kellogg, so whatever, but we'll just call it Kellogg, the whole stretch there that I marked in red, so <clears throat> whether or not he was in this bar, which you'll see what it is in a minute, run down that road eluding someone, <clears throat> That's a damn long stretch of road. So tell me someone, if someone was chasing him to get hit down here, they they were taunting him and driving slow, maybe? <clears throat> Friggin' it's weird how it was explained, as you can see. And then all this mapping this out. 
and Kellogg down there, <clears throat> like I said in my last video when he ran out in that road, yeah, there's right where the red house is, where the two houses is, where I got marked red. All that is trees, and them trees blocked the view on the side of the house. So you can't look out your window clearly enough to see anybody running there to run out in the middle of that road towards the ball field. So if someone got hit, like I said, someone can easily take a left or right turn, drive right off, and if someone does hear a commotion, they come out, it's going to be too late. They will see maybe a car spinning off down the road, but not enough, <clears throat> excuse me, damn, but not enough to get a license plate or even a make of the car, and I think it was at nighttime at that when this all took place. So now, saying all this, here's the bar. Bart's. But, it's got coffee, cappuccinos, latte. So this is this 112 dirt bag referring to an, and yes, they used to call them this back in the day. Maybe that's what he meant, an ice cream bar. I do remember back in the day they used to call them this. Because it would be the same thing as a bar. You go sit up in the stools, you at the table, the counter, you know, you're, you're eating ice cream like a bar you would be drinking. So, but... <laughs> Now it changes the whole prospect of the story. Because this Vassy is supposed to be in a bar hitting on women. <clears throat> but it's an ice cream bar. So that means, yeah, that, that's where the 112 dirt bag likes to put in riddles. And not the right story. Or the right place say so. So it's like, damn, what the hell is this guy talking about? And who better would want to mix, mix and mess up a story than the person themselves who've done it? That's my thoughts and theories. But to see this, <clears throat> damn, and to have Vassy run out of there, take a left, or go left on the screen, take a right down there, as you can see the road, well, no, the roads are further down because there's another building after this. But, you know, go left off the screen. <clears throat> go running down the street. Run down the street. Run, 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 run. Where the hell is he running to? <clears throat> I mean, if someone... <clears throat> he was eluding someone. Say so. Now think of this. Hitting on someone's wife. I would think... That all this time running down the street, someone would have already caught him and beat the crap out of him. I mean, hell, if that was what happened to me, that's what I'd do. <clears throat> you know, if someone's that jealous and, you know, he's eluding someone, you think about it. That man is very, uh, you know, flared up, peed off. Starts running. The, get the pen out again. <clears throat> You're messing with my wife. And I follow the line. Run out the building. Run down here. Run, run, run. <clears throat> You're screwing around my wife. You, 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 you with my wife, man. You're running. You're running. You're running. <clears throat> Damn it. You know you're running. What is this guy doing? Screaming at him down the street. You're running. Ah, bang, bang, ka. Killed. And then the guy leaves. Oh crap! Kid got hit. Screwing around with my wife. And he walks all the way back down, back to the bar. Does that make any damn sense to you? No. No. <clears throat> you want to know why? Because if there was a jealous man, and uh. There's nobody to witness the hit and run. This is what ha will happen. Follow the line. Car sitting here or in a parking lot watching. Stalking. For some apparent reason, Vassy comes out. 
walking, 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 walking. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe there is some campus, campus space, housing around there. Car drives up, down there slowly, walking, walking, slowly. Gets catches up to him. Probably punches it. Makes Vassy aware. Someone driving this way. Oh, he's someone chasing me, chasing me. Ram, ram, bang! Turn here. Do do do. Oh, or get closer. Turn here. He got hit. Job done. Jealous man is right, but who was the jealous man <laughs> is the question. Who was that jealous man? Should we take note? Should we take note? Who was that jealous man that stalked Vassy coming out of the ice cream bar <clears throat> with my woman? Maura Murray loves me. One site says, someone's page says. Hmm. Who would do that? I don't know, you know. <clears throat> Something to think about, though. Something to think about. Check it out. Plenty of getaway spots. Secluded area. Even if someone does hear it, like I say. They wouldn't have time to come out and check for a moving vehicle. Nope. They'll just see a body laying on the ground. As you can see, two getaway streets. Driving slowly, catch up to that area. Now, whether or not that was planned or he just got lucky with chasing this man and someone just happened to drive by and it happened to be Maura Murray? I don't, that's one thing I don't get. How the hell would it be Maura Murray with the way I just did it? She just happened to be driving that street. The only way I could think that could happen is someone put a goddamn tracking advice. Device. Yeah, advice. <laughs> Tracking device, knew which way she was traveling, set up this guy to get him down that street, and bang. Oh, Maura Murray did it. That's the only way that could have happened. Knowing every move this woman made. Hell, just think of that. Tracking device put on her car. So how would someone find a killer, find, and this just blew in my head, man, just thoughts and theories, you gotta think like a killer to catch a killer. How would this woman be going up Route 112, secluded little place, so many houses on the road, crash into a snowbank, and someone get the perfect advantage to make her disappear? Tracking device. Ha. I wonder if that was using this. That was just, that. that's just, wow. And when you got access to Amherst College, hmm, you're following around someone you like. Hmm? You see and watch every day, know what car she drives, know where she goes, know what she does. And you, you know, all of a sudden, maybe you're starting to find out that she's doing something bad in your jealous rage. Huh? Think about it. Oh, I'm going to put a track in the face. Ha! Huh? That could be another thought in theory, huh, folks? What do you think? I wonder if... I'm about to wonder if that car ever was searched for a tracking device. Well... That's all I got to say today, folks. But this mapping out of this 112 dirtbag starts in there, or whatever the hell 
this kid was doing way down here, a ice cream bar at that. Will here, yeah, that don't sound like some person going around picking up women. Hell, maybe, what, what if Murray was with this guy that night and they're out getting an ice cream all just before this happened? And someone saw him. Didn't like that. You're taking my woman out for ice cream. Ah! Huh? I don't know, call me crazy. Call me crazy, but you gotta expand your mind on an investigation to make something work like this to come out with, wow, it's just nuts, insane. All these are dirty, oh man, I don't know. Beware, everybody, be safe and take care. Because these fruits are out there. And what I just thought of, man, wow. I would love to catch this bastard. Like I said, I have to leave it at this. It's not trying, I'm not trying to make myself sound creepy or whatever, but like I said, I once heard a detective say, and it was a real life detective. I forgot what show or what the name was, but all I remember him saying, and it's sick to say, but if you want to catch a killer, you got to think like one. And I mean, I would never do anything like this to harm the innocent. But if I was to catch the culprit of doing this, there's no telling what I'd do to that person. And if I knew something that they did, that something and what they did would definitely be done on them by me. But innocent, no. I would never. That's just. Uh, this is why I think the way I do. Because of people like this make me sick. And I'd love nothing more to put them where they put people in the predicaments of any type of case like this. That's why the justice system needs to be changed. Screw Murphy's Law. How about Archie's Law? And take every individual that is proven guilty on cases like these. Oh man, I'd have a big, huge... <clears throat> I would like something like The Running Man with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I would love something like Running Man, but child molesters, rapists, and everybody that's literally convicted with DNA evidence and put them in a little caged area and the hunt is on. I do have a story out, something like that called the Velisca Warrior and I'm yet to finish the end of that but I got two parts if anybody wants to check that out and it's all got to do with child molesters and pretty much it'd be something like this too all these little sick maniacs that want their time of fame of being a killer and thinking they're gonna get away with it some of them do sick out